George Cobb was the last of the twofers. People who'd had so little to contribute to the pot that they had to take two turns each round to compensate. Some might call him lucky, but that's hardly the word to describe any of the miserable souls who'd gathered just a few hours ago. Looking back on it, they should have just waited failure out and faded with a whimper. Or blown their money on lottery tickets and dispatched themselves quietly at home when their numbers didn't come up. Instead, they opted for a way that at least one of them would win. A game of Russian roulette among 34 strangers for their collective life savings. $124,619.87. They'd all find redemption or everlasting peace. Wallace Hearn had loved Linda Morgan, but after she gave birth, he realized he couldn't support a family and left. He'd only recently heard about the crash that ended their poverty. Now he couldn't live with himself unless he found a way to provide for them, at least in death. Colleen Sokolov had been the ward of her wealthy uncle, Victor. Her first 30 years had been spent in the blissful solitude of his vast library. When he died, hidden debts and litigious relatives had left nothing to sustain her. Since then, five years of customer service had taken their toll. Dr. Milo Nemitz had been a celebrated biologist until a controversial theory of his had cost him his funding. But. I suppose that doesn't matter now. Space you landed on. Follow the instructions on the car to go back three spaces. First one to the finish wins. <sighs> Wear this card as a fake mustache. Childhood's hours, I have not been as others were. I have not seen as others saw. I could not bring my passions from the coming spring. From the same source, I have not taken my soul. I could not awaken my heart to joy at the same time. And all I loved, 
I loved it long. I cannot deal with anyone anymore. Money won't help. They'll just run out and I'll have to work with those people again. You can stay with me for free if you give me the money. Hey, hey, hey. If it doesn't work out, the gun will still be here. And so, I guess Nemitz didn't have to worry about his ideas anymore. Buddy, hold on a second. And Wallace got another chance to play the patriarch. Easy there, buddy. Hold on a second. How many times I gotta tell you? You gotta knock first. Hey, Colleen, I, I got some pizza. I'll bring you in a slice or two in a minute, right? Please eat with us, Colleen. Buddy, come on! She's coming out! She's coming out! And Colleen learned to take comfort in other people. For now, anyway. <laughs>